Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica. Today I'm just be doing a quick video um, in my series of archaeology in which I'll be looking at the autonomy, uh, should I say, I'll be looking at the art, uh, the structure of the fish, I'll be looking at it in details and two of my topics in which I'll be discussing uh, both today and tomorrow are skills and the whole idea of calling your fish. Some cry, some smile some fight every day we rise to the top because we know what it takes through it all we survive yet still hold the faith unchangeable not unchangeable hey. no uh, the scale is regarded as an important feature of the fish the scale is like a pot protective armor you know, like when you go war and you have this shield or this armor in which you actually have on so as to ensure that you are protected right so the scale is like a protective armor it serves the purpose of protecting the fish from parasites or even from predators the scale also is important in that it helps to regulate the body temperature just like the skin right for example uh, some fish are easily acclimatized because of the thick armor like scales in which they have for example the arana right some fish have very thin scales right which allows them to glide through the water very easily right which is another advantage of having the scales now back in the earlier years you had a group of persons uh they, they refer to them as monk right they found it very difficult for you know to be consuming carp and with the scale you know they had to they had the problem of removing the scale from the fish so they actually devised a way in which they would actually get the fish to grow without scales and this happened for several years now uh these fish some of these fish were actually carried to madagascar right where it actually was released into the wild and after a while when checking back upon these fish it was realized that these fish have actually been um, over several years now i mean like over 50 70 or uh, even more years these fish have actually evolved returning to where they were before in that they actually regrew their scales right remember it was as a result of gene monopolization that uh these fish scales were practically removed right i'm going to be talking a little bit more in details about fish with scales and fish without scales what's the what's the you know the, the reason behind all of this okay so scale is very important right uh with the scales the body is able to survive uh at a higher rate than if it never have these armor um, right uh fish over the years according to scientists have evolved researchers have found that um the whole idea of fish having skin are uh, as a result of the gene makeup so in regards to you trying to have your fish in which you're gonna be you're cultivating for mission right uh, uh in the labs or whatever the fish if the fish stay long enough it will actually regrow skin now i went to a pet shop a few months ago and i saw a uh, koi fish i don't know if anybody else have ever seen this but a koi fish with inverted scales or should i say reverse scales so instead of the scales actually running along the body um body structure it is running upward so it's instead of running down it's running up right and i was told that uh this fish was inverse scale um fish right uh this again is not a natural natural phenomenon it's not a natural phenomenon right it has uh, its roots in gene monopolization by researchers in the past over the time these fish have still reproduced however uh, they are not the original right according to research right now as I said before I'm gonna be sharing with you a little bit more on the different aspect of the, the fish structure itself uh, this is just one of the videos in which I have done I hope that this little information in which I gave you, I, this information in which I shared with you was of interest. Thank you very much for watching Fish Keeping Jamaica. Join me next time when I will be looking at culinary fish, fish, right?